If you ask anyone I grew up with, I've always wanted to be a botanist. I've been telling people that for years. For my senior project, I did um, vegetation surveys on outcrops of a rock called serpentinite in western Massachusetts. When I first started at COA, I think one of my first meetings with my advisor, um, Dr. Nishi Rajakaruna, who studies this particular habitat, he had me read a, um, an article he'd written summarizing what was known about this habitat in nor um, northeastern North America. And when I read that article, I noticed there was nothing about my home state of Massachusetts. So I kept that in the back of my mind for a few years. But when it came time to pick my senior project, I decided that I wanted to go back to Massachusetts and do this um, study of serpentinite. I spent last summer visiting outcrops of this bedrock, documenting what was growing there, what was growing on adjacent out outcrops of adjacent and different bedrock types, collecting soil samples. And then I came back here to COA, and for the rest of the year, I've been identifying the plants and lichens that I collected. I was very surprised because all, nearly all the hypotheses I suggested in my proposal turned out to be false. So before, this, before I did this project, the state said that, well, we have this rock in the state, so it's probably a unique, a unique natural community in Massachusetts. And what I reported back to them is, no, not really. And Matt Messina, who went before, who presented before me, I think he has the best description that I've heard of this. He says, I'm, I'm the botany equivalent of the guy who decided Pluto wasn't a planet. <laughs> The most important thing about education at COA is that the interdisciplinary education here doesn't mean being a dilettante in a bunch of areas. It's okay to be a specialist. I'm an unabashed specialist. But because I'm here at COA, I work side by side with specialists in all kinds of fields every day. That training, that education, instills in COA students a certain humility about their specialty. Um, and understanding that whatever your discipline is, it has neither all the answers nor all the questions.